This is Joel Berman from Mortgage News Network, once again from NAM National in Las Vegas at an extremely successful convention. I'm here with Kimber White, who is the NAM membership chair for this year and has been given that same position for next year. And uh, what do you feel about the attendance here and, and the status of the mortgage broker as we move towards 2017? Well, Joel, this is probably been the biggest uh, show we've had in years. The mortgage broker is definitely back. The shows are growing. Uh, there's excitement. There's new programs. I really think that the, we have turned the corner in the mortgage industry and the growth in our industry and the excitement. Now, Kimber, one of the things you have in terms of your function as the membership chair is to not only grow the association on a national level, but also concurrently try to support the state growth. What are some of the initiatives that we could look forward to entice those people that should be members to not only be members, but to understand that attending this conference is very important to the continuation of their careers? Well, one of the things that we just rolled out, uh, and we'll be hearing more about it, is the NAM Kickstart. And the Kickstart is going to be uh, talking about if you want to start your own brokerage, if you're a loan originator and you want to go out and start your own brokerage, we're going to give up to $10,000 to assist you in seed money to get that started. It's only to NAM members, and it's going to be exclusive, and it is something that's going to help people to kickstart our industry. This is going to help the states grow, it's going to help our industry grow, and at the same time, it gets originators really back into business as business owners. So, from what I understand from the Kickstart program, it's going to be a grant program that's going to be given to experienced loan officers, minimum of three years, I believe, Correct. and they're going to be grants of anything from 3000 to 10000 right. and there's a sub website. Uh, do you know what that website is offhand? I don't know the website offhand. We're going to put it on the bottom of the screen during okay. this interview, but they're going to be able to apply, and there's going to be a committee that's going to review it, and they're going to be able to get this seed money to be able to get their businesses started. And the whole idea from what I understand is we want to grow the mortgage broker and we want to grow the wholesale marketplace. Is that correct? Yes, we want to grow the mortgage broker, we want to grow the wholesale marketplace. And because what has happened, a lot of the brokers left the industry and went to work for lenders or went to work uh, for companies. Now we're trying to get the, the brokers back in their own business and get these loan officers back to where they started off from when we went down. Any other initiatives as far as uh, membership on a national or state level that uh, we could look forward to in 2017? Yes. Uh, one of the things we've decided this year, we started out with uh, this past year as membership chair, we actually started reaching out to the states. We started helping the states. We started giving in states some incentives and actually uh, went all around the United States this year helping with the state shows, uh, helping grow their business. But this year we're going to actually do symposiums, regional symposiums into regional areas so that the states can come together, some of the ones that don't have large associations, and they can be a part of it. So what happens there, now you may have two or three states, New England states, they come together, they can invite their members. We're going to have sponsors to sponsor them. We're going to give some incentives to the states. Reasons to be a NAM member because this are some of the reasons. We're also working on incentives in the membership of uh, items such as LOS systems. Things that will be free only to NAM members. It is an incentive. It's a reason to join. But at the same time, it's a reason to help the state associations. And also we're going to start helping build new state associations this year by going into the states and finding some seeds and putting them in. And by the way, I'm going to be a little self-serving as far as the NAM Plus uh, division is concerned. It's a for-profit uh, division, and it's not actually part of NAMB, and I happen to be on that board of directors. But it is also a tremendous amount of benefits that members get. And, and I've always said this, it's pretty cool for the small cost of membership if you start to think of your return of investment just in terms of taking advantages of those benefits. Uh, would you agree? And concurrently, you're supporting your industry and helping change. Yeah, I think NAM Plus, it goes hand in hand with membership. It is incentive benefits. And if you go on that side and look at our NAM Plus members and look at their benefits, if you use one or two of those, you have paid for your membership the entire year. But at the same time, besides that, for $120, where could you have went this year and gotten webinars on this uh, TRID changes, webinars on the new FHA changes, webinars on VA, webinars on tax returns. All of this was free to NAM members. Where else can you get that type of uh, education, that type of incentives? So the NAM membership pays for itself. I keep telling everyone, when you divide it $120, that's $10 a month. 
We spend that on coffee, less than that a month. Well, you've heard it. There's some exciting things happening to encourage you to become a member and to attend the NAM National and NAM East. So look forward to the NAM site, look in our publication, and I'm sure there's going to be articles from Kimber from the membership chair in our publication in the NAMB perspective. That's it from Las Vegas, Nevada, NAM National, Joel Berman for Mortgage News Network. This is Mortgage News Network.